now to doctor, our doctor, Jesus Christ, the wonderful doctor. This is the leader of the Awaiting Christ Church, Nogulunga Fipaza. She's the one who persuaded many to join the church. She disappeared recently after eight bodies were found in the church compound. Mandela Park is a small township in Umtata, Eastern Cape. Most of the people here are poor. In 1997, the Awaiting Christ Church opened its doors here. Residents say this group had been chased away from several other places before coming here. They also say they were very religious. They sang day and night. <laughs> Any indo, the constitution of South Africa, it will not longer look a cons and about Pina. Quad, Sadikuba, Becons, as now we longer look then and Zangando in Sandy Eddy than in a crime. Ogany Eloan on Teto, sitting on Siaba Gort, Abuan Masbaku. Saturday's Kosi Kurat, Magasmalinda, but not trying to talk about Gorto was in Dow. Masmalinda, Udek Vele Lendo Bako than I was in Dow, not so smart cottage. Here I'm going to be, so the church is a band bagatin. Three weeks ago, the church was closed down. A family member had not seen or talked to his sister for two years. So he got a court order to get the church to tell him where his sister was. She had been staying at the church for the last seven years. The police moved in. The leaders of the church were shaken. For many years, they had misled the family. Now they pointed out the site of the graves. Eight bodies were discovered in the compound. I've been born there. Unwa jo e balin. Amanya man ngaba Allah panje e gadi. Abok tele kodi miti e pesika ne spinach ne kapi chune mboji. Amanya man ngaba ke unwa jo ngendi lanje end ke kwa play. Watu adwa ingali afunjulu lo kodi tawa isoi isoi fudi ziyangenga shell. So that umdo no kita ayo no suka anga bonu kudu kuingwa ba. Amani la matana tuko nguaje nje kwa vula ba pata kwa 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 yati le kuingo oili nguaje pata kwa kuingo. So that umdo kumbi no bonu kumbi mtambi yati le ichali wote. The community was shocked by the death of these cult members. One of the cult's claims had been that no one would get ill or die. Some in the community say that these unmarked graves point to witchcraft, graves that were less than a meter deep. They also say they cannot believe that the church deceived them. There was no effort to even contact the families when the members were ill or when they were buried. They want the cult to move from Mandela Park and have threatened to bend this compound. No coffins were used. The burials happened at night. No one heard or saw anything. No one knows if these are the only graves. Some of the bodies were buried more than four years ago. Families had no idea where their loved ones were. This is the Tukuza family home. The entire family stayed in the church compound once. Theo Tukuza left it five years ago. He's the one who got the court order to find his sister. He's the eldest, and he says now he has to care for his mother, sister, and two brothers who have been in the compound for the last seven years. His siblings all stopped going to school after joining the church. They are home now, and he worries how he will support them, not to mention his own family. Since Sinayo, from the roots in the Uti, Unai believe the angel. 
Ebe ateta ateta enzo mzegelo nga ati ndaushi umsebenzi. Numzo wa mda utengizu. Kwa ilo mdo fundilo. Ya, yeah, I must point out. Guba e fundilo. Mdo fundileke. Uya kolel noba. Agano fana yeke msebenzi. Alafi. Mdo ati nati. Noba. Nyani kumsegeni. The Duguza family was one of the first to move into the compound at Mandela Park. Nineteen ninety seven, confused seven, the awaiting Christ Church started with more than a hundred members. Most of them came from the Eastern Cape. They call this place the Ark. Members come here to wait for the return of Jesus. Those who stay in the compound have to give up all earthly things. Some of the members stopped going to school. Others even stopped working. Married couples were not allowed to live together. The heart needs to be prepared for the coming of Jesus. It needs to be holy because Jesus has come to fetch a spotless church. So what the devil has done, he has hidden the sins of the heart. Hallelujah. Uh, there are many demons which the devil uh, in these last days, hallelujah, is at, I mean, in these last days, the devil is attacking the church with different types of demons which Jesus has revealed them to me. Because Okay. Scar has many questions. But uh, in question um do not the pack out in the zoo, but uh uh why you have to go to uh uh as got correct. The unfulfilled prophecies didn't deter Theo's mom. She still waits anxiously day by day for Jesus to return. Lord, it is in Colony Yam, but we are so born again. I can't part a lap will be trying to sing a Fukuba and go when I go get into. There's something to me, Miss Amanda and Abam Dabat, Bamasi, but when Dani Funabat is so be Danga Fun would have under Abam, but the banana sabbat. Mbuzeni Tuguza is 76 years old. He last saw his wife and children seven years ago. He said they all went to live at the compound in Mandela Park. Bahamba. Gabe Vinda Wabagul. Gaya. Gaubatat. Gapina Bahamba. They are Amba one by one. But the Babi Bahamba Bonga boy four. Usi Shile Gomi, but Tatum Wabula. Today, Theo is bringing his brothers and sister to see their father. 
living in the compound they had no contact at all. They are fearful. They wonder whether their father will forgive them, let alone welcome them back home. <laughs> Mbuzeni Tukuza learned that one of his daughters died at the church three years ago. He says he's angry that they never told him of his daughter's illness and death. Sinokolo's passing has left the family divided. Her mother says she does not mourn her. She says for many years she saw the cult as her family. Oh, Two of his sons are now awaiting trial for digging the graves of the eight bodies found at the church. Their sister Sinokolo is at last buried at home. Pain is a township in Mtata, not far from Mandela Park. It's the home of Nosi Pompambaniso and Cindy Swabageni. They are sisters. They also once stayed in the church compound. Their older sister was already living there when she introduced them to the church. They've spent the last seven years learning how to prepare themselves for rapture, the return of Jesus Christ. This meant leaving school and their families. Sindiswa was only 15 at the time. Nosipo was 12 years old. Now that they've left the compound, they say they miss the other children of God. The local community has also not accepted them. Now, God said to the person, Of everything in the garden, you have a license to eat and enjoy. 
Pastor Melford Willie is the head of the Apostolic Pastoral Forum in Mtata. He says he knew the cult leaders. They were once members of the Apostolic Church. He says they were too extreme in their beliefs and they isolated themselves from other churches. He also had a feeling that something bad would happen one day with leaders like them. Isn't it wrong? I'm mostly very much attractive. And uh, sometimes there are certain promises you may not know when, as motivate Abantu to follow Lord on Obi Rongo Ganjan. Ngogom Zegel, Apa Glenda, Tabe Gutuaga Logu Yesu of Buyango two thousand. I think Umdonga has got three pipes, and about taking about going by you, Zabang Nolens, about writings of Sindagun Til and the Yamban Yesu in Yobonu Yesu. I want to try and go to the Slindo Fit, buy in Cos Yesu of Moody Tatan Slabin. Central Lay, Sensu is the Messinga Yas T. Once you tell people that 1914, Jesus is coming as it was said, and he never came. Now 2000, Jesus is coming and he hasn't come. I don't know now which other day that it's misleading, it's a heresy. Because according to the Bible, no one knows the hour and the time. Members of the cult cut themselves off from their families completely. The cult was now their new family. After joining, many left their jobs. Those who did work had to donate their entire salary to the cause. They were all waiting for the second coming of Jesus Christ, which would be soon. It's claimed the eight cult members who were buried in the compound died of starvation and TB. The very concept of uh, abandoning families and staying in a compound and and and, and isolating themselves, it, it, it's wrong because biblical Jesus himself said, occupy until I come. Get busy with what I told you. We have a great commission. The great commission says, go and make all nations my disciples. That was a golden commission. So we are told to occupy in that commission until the owner comes back. No one is said to stop anywhere he likes and just wait Jesus. No. There's no malnourishment here. There is no kwashioko here. Everybody, there's nobody who is naked. You can see, they are all in the dignity of Jesus Christ. They are surviving through faith. God is feeding them. God is, uh, is doing everything for them. They said, nobody is going to die there. It was one of their prophecies. Nobody is going to die there. Nobody is going to get sick there. Now that it happened, now they tried to conceal the evidence. Today, Flora Pambaniso is a happy woman. She can now spend time with her daughters. Sindiswa and Nosipo, and talk to them. She also says she can't believe how grown up they are now. When they left, they were only children. Fourteen,
epilig. Wati ambe okonzi tiku. And wati ambe okonzi tiku. And mama ambe okonzi tiku. Kwa ngundi akushi. Anduzi peni buwe nzo konzi tiku. And mama nzo kwa ufi. Anduzi kufa pe msabini. So nchua ke nyani kwa kufi. Kwa kufa. Pa. Wa, wakula. Kwa 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 nyani kwa kufa pe msabini. Wa kote la ke wabese. Se se kwa 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 Nosipo and Cindy Swa joined the cult after visiting Maria, their elder sister in the compound. Maria died there last year. Now their mother, Flora, is left to mourn and bury her. Nosipo says she didn't do anything wrong by not telling her mother her sister was dead. She no longer regarded her as family. She also doesn't share her mother's grief. According to her religion, crying for the dead is a sin. Bendilindu Yesu glandao. Soke ngugu Yesu kaibu ya bendiazba na amdi za ushlanga na nayuta tuitu. Today, the awaiting Christ church stands empty. Members have left with nothing. For some, there's only doubt. But others are still contemplating starting up the church again. Most have to learn to live with their family and community again. Three weeks after the bodies were dug up, the community and the churches in Mandela Park have joined hands. They want to cleanse the compound of its past. The churches also want to send out a strong message. <laughs> It's not easy for the community of Mandela Park and the families of those who died. They have to find a way to forgive and to move on.